So, I just saw Easy A. And I just, I needed to talk about it because it was so much better than I thought it was going to be. I saw the preview for it when I went to see Scott Pilgrim vs. The World and thought it looked funny. Surprisingly so, because I, most teen movies I'm not into, like I never was, even when I was younger. It takes a special one to get me interested. Well, special to me. And this one was great. It stars Emma Stone, who I have to say I didn't really have much of an opinion on one way or the other before this movie. I know her from Zombieland and Superbad, but she was great in this, carrying the whole thing. She was very funny. And, you know, just she seemed to me really at ease with carrying a movie. And I actually want to see her in more stuff after this. She's, like, really talented. Amanda Bynes is also in this movie as the her Bible thumping arch nemesis, and she's really funny in it. Uh, Thomas Hayden Church as her teacher, who's also very funny. Uh, Lisa Kudrow as the guidance counselor. It's a small part, but it's a crucial part, and of course she's funny. She's Lisa Kudrow. Stanley Tucci as the father. Uh, I can't remember who played the mother. Malcolm McDowell was randomly in two scenes as the principal. That was a little weird, but it was still cool. So basically this movie is about a girl who gets a reputation for being a slut. But she's not. She's actually a virgin, and guys will come to her and, like, pay her, mostly in gift cards, to say that she had sex with them. I thought this was a pretty clever movie. I liked the way she's narrating through webcam and the inserting of some clips from like Say Anything and Ferris Bueller's Day Off and Sixteen Candles and crap what was the other one? Breakfast Club of course. Duh. And they of course they mentioned the Scarlet Letter because that's sort of what this is based on, so kind of like how 10 Things I Hate About You was a modern day Taming of the Shrew. This is like a modern day Scarlet Letter. But they actually acknowledge that in this one and talk a great deal about the Scarlet Letter, <laughs> which leads to some pretty funny jokes about the Demi Moore remake. Oh, and there's a great, great Huck Finn line in there that I don't want to say. There's so many gags that I would just love to rattle off, but I, I can't because I don't want to give, you know, anything away. Uh, it's not a perfect movie. I thought it ran a little long. Like, when you're getting to the end, not quite the end, but a little bit before the end, it started to drag. But it did pull itself together before the very end. And I, I did feel a couple of aspects of it were kind of unresolved. But it didn't bother me so much. It was still, a, like I said, a very funny movie. One thing I enjoyed about it was Olive, that's Emma Stone's character's name, her relationship with her parents. So many times in teen movies, they have a bad relationship with their parents. You know, their parents don't understand them, or their parents are too hard on them, or blah, blah, blah. This one, she liked her parents. She got along with them. She laughed with them. Her parents were funny and supportive and understanding. There are a couple of good, like, plot turns in it. I mean, because obviously there's no real twist in it. Well, there is sort of one, but I like the way it flowed. It... It really kept its momentum up, like I said, until he got to the last bit and it kind of struggled, but this was a very funny movie. I would go so far as to say this is the best teen movie I've seen since Mean Girls, but to be fair, I haven't seen them all. I will be buying this when it comes out, and I will be looking, looking out for more of Emma Stone's work in the future because I didn't know she had this in her. Good for her. So, yes, if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's very, very funny.